words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. We are on day 118, and the next few series I really want you to pay attention to because they're all going to kind of tie in together and kind of confirm a lot of things we've been talking about. Uh, but today we're going to talk about trust God. Trust God. Um, Telaim or Psalms 37.3 says, um, Trust in Hashem. And do good, and I'm reading this out of the, out of the, out of the the the, the, uh, the Tanakh. It says, "Trust in Hashem and do good, that you may dwell in the land, and and nourish yourself with faithfulness." Um, two things here. Two things. Trust in God. That's the first one and do good. That's the second. And in doing so, we find ourselves nourished with the faithfulness of God. But in other words, when we trust in God and we do good, we see the faithfulness of God always in abundance. It's nourishing us. And trust comes before the ability to do good. You don't do good and then trust God. You trust God and do good. Um, and what does that mean? I mean, what does that really mean to trust God? Um, what does that really look like in today's world? What does that, what does that feel like? When, speak, when people speak evil against you, you have to trust God. The opposite of not trusting God is to go ahead and speak evil against them and retaliate. This gets us into a, a, the, the understanding there is another world out there that we have to look forward to that, 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 that it, it's, it's there for us waiting for us. And and so what we see here is that Shimrash Halashan, the, the holy speech, is 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 connected to putting our trust in God and to do good. For I know they're saying bad things about me, but I trust God. I trust the Lord. This enables me to do good. When I don't trust in Him, then I don't want to do good. I want to do what I want to do. (laughs) See, so many times we think about trusting God and doing good as getting things like material things, but trusting God and doing good has a whole more, or has a a whole lot more to do with the fact of of behavior. And so, communication that causes ill will of any kind shows a lack that we don't trust God. If, if, if people don't forgive us and they hate us, what do we do? We have a tendency to look at that person try and, and say, okay, well, you know, you did this, you did that, you did this, and we start, we start developing all these thoughts and these ideas and these speculations and all these different things, yet trusting God keeps us away from that. Lord, I'm going to trust you to work this thing out. I pray for them. I bless them. Let there be a healing in this. 
Not trusting God on the other hand, and see that that that's doing good. Not trusting on the other hand it causes us not to do good. Then we, we're, what do we begin to do? We begin to, you know, have ill will. We begin to have bitter feelings. Then we begin to talk about their faults, and then we talk about what they did to us, and we talk about what they're doing to us, and you know, it, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. There's this constant cycle, and the only way to break a cycle of evil speech is to trust God and do good. These two are connected together, trusting God and doing good. And part of doing good is not speaking evil. And so in the key into doing good, speaking good speech or holy speech, Shemarash Halashan, is to trust God. And this is, this is the amazing thing. When you look at the rest of that verse, that you may dwell in the land and nourish yourself with faithfulness. It's amazing when you, we begin to speak things that are true and just and holy and praiseworthy. It's amazing how we begin to nourish our own self. And then we begin to remind ourselves of God's faithfulness. Yeah. Trust in the Lord. Trust in Hashem and do good. I'm telling you, where communication or commu uh, communication that causes ill will from from people is a lack of trust in God. Because you think about it, when we're worrying, when we're doubtful, when we're mad, we complain. And I, you know what? I have yet to see complaining not mention one person. In other words, there's always somebody we're going to blame when we complain, period. But trusting God, how are you going to complain when you're in total trust? This will work out for my good. This will work out for my good. This will work out. In every situation, we find God in the moment. Teshuvah. We find God in the moment. <clears throat> and we learn this works out for our good. Yeah. Trust God. Do good. See you next time on The Essence of Man and the Power of Speech.